so we are back with Read Around the Room, and as you can see, I'm in the library. Love our library, and I know you guys miss it so, so much. But it will be here when you get back, and I have put some new books in our book bins, so you'll have to find them and see if you can find the new books I've put in the library. We are going to be reading Dinarella today. Sorry, I think Miss Tessman just walked outside. Um, this is a Twisted Fairy Tale. Here's a Twisted Fairy Tale bin. So you will have to check it out in that genre bin when you get back. So Dinarella is a prehistoric fairy tale, and I know we've read lots of versions of Cinderella, like Adelita, the Korean Cinderella, the Rough Face Girl, all of those different cultural Cinderellas. So today, we're going to read about a dinosaur Cinderella. Let's go ahead and start with Dinarella. And this is by Pamela Duncan Edwards and Henry Cole. Dora Doris and Dinarella lived down in the sand dunes in a dinosaur den. That's a lot of starting sounds. Duh, duh, duh. What poetry tool is that called? It's alliteration. Did you get it right? Dora and Doris did nothing all day. They dumped debris around the den. They never did the dusting or the dishes. Dinarella was dainty and dependable. Doris and Dora were dreadful to Dinarella. All day they demanded... Dinarella, dig the garden. Dinarella, fetch us drinks. Dinarella, start the dinner. She's a dingbat, snickered Dora. She's a dummy head, giggled Doris. Where was this book when we were learning alliteration? That's what I want to know. <laughs> One day, a card was delivered to the den. Dinosaur dance, Duke Dudley's den at dusk, hors d'oeuvres, dandelion cola, dancing until dawn. Duke Dudley was the most dashing dinosaur in the dunes. I would die for a date with a duke, said Dora, decorating herself with dinosaur jewels. Definitely, sighed Doris, roll, dolling up for the dance. A dance, said Dinarella defiantly. How divine. You can't go to the dance, said Doris. You're too dowdy. You're too dull, agreed Dora, and you don't have a decent dinosaur jewel. Of course, you can't go to the dance. Poor Dinarella felt down in the dumps as she watched her stepsisters depart. Suddenly, Dinarella heard a droning noise. Don't be dismal, cried the fairy dactyl. You shall go to the dance. But I'm so drab, said Dinarella, and I don't have a decent dinosaur drool. Jewels. I'll soon deal with that, declared fairy dactyl. These will outdazzle all the other dinosaur jewels. Darling fairy dactyl, exclaimed Dinarella in delight. With her diamonds dangling, she set out for the dance. Dusk had fallen when Dinarella heard a deafening disturbance coming from the direction of Duke Dudley's den. A dastardly deed was taking place. A dinos, dinochus, dinochus? I think that's a type of dinosaur. Was dragging off the Duke. I'm done for, cried the Duke. He will devour me. Indeed I will, laughed the dino chest. I will be digesting you by daybreak. Dinarella was not a daring dinosaur, but something drastic had to be done. I may become dessert, but I'm determined to drive away that dreaded carnivore. Dinarella climbed to the top of the dune. You disgusting dummy, she roared. Drop the Duke. Dinarella began to hurl dirt balls at the Dinochus. The dumbfounded Dinochus stopped in disbelief. Who called me a dummy, he demanded. The moonlight caught Dinarella's dangling diamonds. Dots and dabs of light darted toward the Dinochus. A devil, cried Dinochus. See its dreadful demon eyes. You can see she does look a little creepy, even though we know that's just her pretty necklace. She does look a little creepy when you can't see her. Dinarella detached a diamond and directed it toward the Dinochus. The diamond hit the Dinochus hard in his dentures. The devil will destroy me with its deadly eyes, bellowed the distraught Dinochus. He dumped Duke Dudley and departed. Double quick. The den was dense with dinosaurs dashing about in distress. A demon, they cried, we're doomed! Dimwits, roared Duke Dudley through the den. Demons don't throw diamonds. It was just a damsel who defended me with her dazzling dinosaur jewel. When I discover her, I shall ask her to be my darling. 
All the dinosaur dames were delirious. That jewel is mine, they each declared. Mine, cried Doris. No, definitely mine, bellowed Dora, giving Doris a dig. I am the damsel you desire. I doubt it, declared Duke Dudley. Your dinosaur jewels don't match. Just then, Fairy Dactyl arrived, to the, arrived at the dance. She quickly saw the dilemma. Where is Dinarella, she demanded. Dinarella, scoffed Dora. That dopey domestic. Dinarella, laughed Dora. She's back at the den. But Fairy Dactyl spied Dinarella dodging behind a dune. Dinarella, she directed, come down. So down came Dinarella, looking distracted. Cried the Duke, she wears but one dazzling jewel. And you can see her earring fell out and he has the earring that she chucked at that other mean dinosaur. Dinarella, you are adorable. You are definitely quite a dish. I beg you to be my dearest. Dreamy, said Dinarella as they danced off into the dawn. Drat, said Dora and Doris. That was a lot of da 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 alliteration. I hope you don't forget what alliteration now is now. Repeating the same consonant sound throughout your poetry, or in this case, throughout a book. I hope you enjoyed Dinarella, and especially reading it with me in our classroom library. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.